In the book, The Sorcerer's Crossing, Taisha Abelar shares the story of her initiation into the sorcerer's world. As part of this initiation, Taisha's guide, Clara, had her perform a set of esoteric techniques to awaken her perception of the abstract side of reality. The exercises performed in the book can revitalize, energize, and balance our normally chaotic and habitual state of being. These techniques can be just the thing for those of us who are looking for a wake-up call to explore the unknown. Technique number one, Jolt and Revive. Using a pointed stick, lightly poke the feet in between the big toe and second toe. Then, turn the soles of your feet up and poke the point just below the protuberance of the big toe. This technique causes a jolt in the body and can be used to stay awake and alert when needed. Technique number two. Flicking away tension and stress with the feet. For this technique, it helps to submerge your feet into a stream or a running water. Move the feet at the ankles in a clockwise circle. Feel all of your tension flow down to the feet. Then throw it out with a sideward snap of your ankles. If you do not have a stream available, you can visualize a stream and do this technique from a chair. Technique number three. Power breath for balance. First, sit on the floor with your spine curved forward and bring your knees to your chest. Wrap your arms around your calves and firmly clasp each elbow or clasp hands in front of the knees. Tuck your chin down to your chest and hold it there. Take short, shallow breaths for at least 10 minutes. These breaths will be difficult at first, but get easier with time. Once you feel you are done, roll backward while still clasping yourself into a ball and hold for a moment. Then release and stretch out your legs and arms and relax. Technique number four. Breath to create a circular shield. For this technique, it is suggested to strip down naked. The technique can be done standing, sitting, or lying down. First, inhale deeply as if you were breathing through your sexual organs. Pull in your stomach and draw the air up along your spine to the point between your shoulder blades. Hold the air there for a moment and raise it to the back of the head, then over the top of the head, just to the point between the eyebrows, and hold. Then, exhale through your nose, guiding the air or energy down the front of your body to the point below the navel, and then finally to the sexual organs again. Keeping your eyes half open, use your eyes to guide the energy. This cycle of breath should be continued until you feel that you have finished. Technique number five. A sparkle of energy. Hold your left hand in front of your body with the wrist resting just above the navel. Palm faces right, fingers pressed together and pointing downward. Gaze at the tip of your middle finger. Inhale deeply, intending to get a sparkle from the ground on the tip of the middle finger. Once you have the sparkle, rotate your hand up at the wrist until the base of the thumb touches the breastbone. Then with a deep exhalation, gaze at the tip of your middle finger for several seconds then, shift your awareness to the spot between your eyes, intending to transfer the sparkle of energy 
to that spot and close your eyes. The sparkle can be sent anywhere, depending on where you feel you need energy.